Yo, what is up gamers? Judas is getting jiggy with it, but there's no music playing, at least not something dance-wise. We got the basement theme instead. Today we're checking out Binding of Isaac Psychosis, and an item that is part of this mod is the Forsaken Encyclopedia. This mod adds a bunch of different nice little trinkets and items, little knickknacks, doodads to work with, and I thought this one would be cool to play with. Whenever you use it, you can see the charge is super high. You spawn an item that comes from the red room pool. At least, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what this does. Uh, there's no item description on it. I just did a little bit of testing and from what I could tell that's you know pretty much everything that it does. We got a charge key here. It's gonna charge it up basically all the way and that's gonna be really good for us. Give us this vasculitis noise. So we're gonna run around with this book and spam it as much as possible and if we're lucky we can get some really good mega stuff of course. We're talking our c-sections, our brimstone, sacred heart, magic mushroom etc. But if we're unlucky you know we'll hit heartbreak, marrow, these types of items items that aren't nearly as hype. So we'll just play around with it and see uh, how the run goes, I think. Now starting off with Vasculitis, it's a very solid item. I really do like it as a starter. In these earlier floors, enemies don't really shoot uh, bullets as much as uh, on the later floors, so it's kind of, you know, harder to get confused between Vasculitis. That is the big downside of this item. You know, you shoot things and then uh, the tears pop out and you're like, wait, what the heck? Which one is me and which one is my enemies? That's also kind of why I have the uh, bullet visibility on a high by default, because that's an easy way to be able to tell between regular enemy tiers and vasculitis stuff. That being said, that one tier that came towards me just now definitely freaked me out. <laughs> Thanks to that charge key, I cannot believe we can actually get two charges on a single floor. I don't know where this thing spawned. If it spawned in the sensor, I'm gonna cry. Where, where are you? Oh, it's over here. Can I be in conception? Yeah, so it does seem like it's all red room items. So as long as we maximize, find as many charged batteries as possible. Hopefully we become a little bit overpowered. Is there anything good in here? here. I uh, don't think so. Starter deck is solid, don't get me wrong, but is it weird for me to say that maybe I bank on a 48 hour energy being on this run and we could spam it and then we just get more items? That that could be better. If we take starter deck, that's just not going to be a possibility. So let's keep our options open and just take care of Steven. I also am playing Judas today because I figured we're working with a book and Judas starts with a book so he can uh, immediately get two, three book worm. And that's going to help in the future. All we got to do is find one more. I'm certain that we're going to find some kind of a library and at that point I feel like there's nothing that could stop us. Do I get a Steven or a little Steven? I actually don't care which one. We get little Steven. This guy has a groat on me just because he's so good at aiming. <laughs> this man does not miss. It feels like a damage up no matter what. I uh, don't care about anything else though. Let's go. Arcade to the left. Charged beggar. I'll participate. No. Uh, that's all right. Goodbye. Anything to maximize charges here is going to make this way better for us. I'm gonna get one more charge which uh, means that I gotta go fight this boss and then and we'll check the shop afterwards. A bit of a weird room. I never see Ragman with a bunch of black poops. I guess it's for uh, when you don't have a lot of damage and you can't take care of the head. I'm almost certain when you have base damage and you fight Ragman, you need to hit literally every single shot and then some sometimes for you to take care of the head, which is way easier said than done. So that black poop is nice for us. Ooh, hello. I was going to say reroll. That's not rerolling. I'm just spawning an item. Jello, not good. But what about in here? There's that battery i'm telling you i kind of want both of these big man items though uh, let's blow this up i'll get the rotten heart doing this will give us the battery and the compass and blue map are still essential so i, I feel like this is worth we can get half a charge and then i do want to check every single pill just in case you never know tears down sucks though i'm really trying to bank on some random 48 hour energy even just one of these showing up will just change my life forever we did a pretty good job of clearing out the floor i'm gonna go down poor rhyming moment for real uh, that's gonna have a lot more map for us to work with and so we can charge our encyclopedia. So far in terms of encyclopedic spawns, it's not been too good, uh, admittedly. We got vasculitis, which is the best thing so far, and the immaculate, I guess, <laughs> but I'm sure this is gonna pay out. We just need to keep committing, keep pressing spacebar as much as possible. Our treasure room has flush, which sucks, and the blind has Akeldama. Another, isn't this, isn't this? I'm pretty sure it's in the red room pool. It's definitely a red type of item. <laughs> I mean, that begs the question, if I pick up a red item, that means I can't find it anymore when I press spacebar, right? 
So that's actually good. We've removed one item from the pool. That just means I have more leeway to find brimstone the next time I press spacebar. We got another one coming up. This thing is charging quickly. What is it? Uh, hey, that's good. That's good. Two, three conjoined is solid. I can take the emperor uh, and then maybe save some time exploring the mirror dimension here. Still not absolutely incredible. Flabbergasting. Skull wide open with eyes popping out emoji. Uh, but much better than what we were working with. I feel like something's cooking in the kitchen and it smells real good. We've gone ghost mode. That gives us a free curse room. I don't want to get hit in here. Otherwise, it's GG. I'm going to have to restart my recording. <laughs> but we're fine. No skill issues here. I think I have not blown up a keeper yet, huh? Let's go explore the mirror dimension, actually. I'm going to need more bombs to access my secret rooms. I know where they are because of the blue map. The blap, as some would say. Just looking for a little bit more pickups to actually take advantage of this uh, information I've been so graciously given. Or or maybe I get unlucky. <laughs> Sometimes you just lose the luck of the draw. You can play as well as you can, literally not get hit whatsoever, get perfection, but hey, sometimes bombs just don't want to spawn, I guess. I mean, I got a couple more rooms. Maybe a matchstick or something. It, it's looking pretty dire though, guys. I don't know what happened, who I angered in terms of Isaac Cosmic Power to not get an item here. My bombs are low, but I, but I still, you know, I, I, I very much believe in the run. Just because we don't got secret rooms does not mean we are not vibing. The main thing is that I'm full clearing as much as the map as possible and maximizing my encyclopedia charges. Marrow! This is also a red item. This, I, I always seem to find this in the ultra secret room so we won't see this the next time we press spacebar. Very nice. Okay, I definitely think I can cook here. We have keys and never... What? Hello? <laughs> Never mind. That was such a stinkerton shop. There's nothing that can redeem this. Wormwood, you gotta pay out with something good, fellow. I believe in you, brother. Come on. Dude, you saw how much damage Akodama did? I did get perfection. I did get an HP up that I don't really need. Okay. <laughs> wow. I feel like I've actually done everything everything. Is there really nothing I can do? I just, I don't think so. That short fuse is useless. It only works when you have bombs. Yeah, I cannot get to the boss challenge room. I can't get to these super secret rooms. I can't even go to the mines because I have no bombs. I uh, just have to hold that. Whatever, we're good. Look, in theory, at one point, I will press spacebar and I will hit some god roll and get Brimstone Sacred Heart. But we just need to get there. Also, in theory, this doesn't happen. But but it, you gotta believe, you know? You gotta believe. <laughs> Let's walk in this curse room. Uh, touch this before. There you go. Our bombs are locked in before our invulnerability runs out. And then to get out, we'll press Q and fight Chubb. This will be an easy fight. And I have a feeling that one bomb is all we needed to have our turning point. I can already feel the... The vibes changing. The energy in the air is shifting. We are about to go god mode. Here's the angel with a nice tears up. Very juicy. And holy water. Hey, there's a bomb here too. Hey, holy water has had such a glow up ever since repentance. It used to be so ass. <laughs> but now I'm always generally happy whenever I see it. I'm never disappointed. Knockout. There you go. That is one of those god items from the ultra secret. Even if I usually get an ultra secret and I find knockout, I'm very happy. We're proccing knockout 100% of the time as well. I don't expect this to last. Don't get me wrong. But for the time being with perfection, things are looking really good for us. Bit of a weird secret room when you don't have the context of the rest of the floor but uh, sure what's going on in here just some holy poops with a luck up a nickel and a nickel that's not a holy poop that's a golden poop get your facts right son well, thanks for the free blow up on the mush i know i have a high chance of finding magic mushroom on this run but that doesn't mean i'm not gonna blow things up <laughs> restock eraser yeah maybe we maybe we just hit the restock honestly remote detonator i kind of want to pick this up so i know it can't show up anymore plus this battery yeah i actually think this is a good idea and then we can buy this and then i got enough money that i feel like i blow this up see what they got is black candle yeah I'll, I'll lock that in you know it's cool assuming i get enough money i mean which i uh, seem to have absolutely pay to play though Oh man, Let, let's see what kind of money I get. Pay to play is so solid, I, I definitely want that more than anything. But negating Curse of the Blind is always gonna have a mega value. Oh wow, petrified poop? Uh, I might run around the entire floor with that. Yeah, like in a situation like this, I I'm gonna go get Petrified Poop back, not lose my perfection, and, and farm some more money, because that's what I need. Take the Petrified. I'm sure I'll get enough cash at this point. I just need two more cents. There's one guaranteed laying right there, and this will probably just pay out with a cent, knowing Petrified, you've gone and let me down, brother. This would be tragic if it doesn't work out for me, but I I'm sure it will, I'm sure. We even got an arcade. I could just blow some dudes up. 
Holy water putting in some mega work, okay. No effort needed on that one. Uh, don't press spacebar in here unless, like, the item decides to spawn on the left or right. Uh, that would be tragic. What do we get? Blood puppy! Hey, you're so cute. Could I have taken it in theory? No. That's a one-stop easy shop way to lose your perfection, but he's, he's adorable. I gotta bring him along. So now we got 14 cents in entirety. We have one more just sitting there, which we can easily gain via our golden bombs for the floor. So I really do think that this was the game changing floor we needed it felt like it the vibe was there i called it and it happened what about in here my god i spent a cent to get in here i sure hope that doesn't backfire uh wait that's like really bad thanks for the gish though hold on I, I i can bring this back i just need one cent literally one you know how often bomb beggars pay out with like two to three cents the moment yeah see we're, we're good don't worry Phew, i was a little nervous though i'm not gonna lie kobe Yoinky Sploinky you, and then we're good to go. Definitely don't want to be losing perfection at this point. Still not holding out hope that I'm going to keep it for the entire run. You know, Isaac, at some points in your Tainted Lost run, stuff just happens and you die. Sometimes you just can't prevent it. But we could try our best here. The longer we go without losing perfection, much definitely the better. Wooden Chess has playing cards. This just has uh, just some pickups. Ace of Diamonds, two of Diamonds. We could do this as a full clear. Say goodbye to probably this big room. Yeah, absolutely. Give me all that cash. And then we'll go back for the two of Diamonds pop that whenever it feels necessary. Secret? Anything juicy? Oh my god. It's like I ran out of money and immediately got so much money. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible, but I am not complaining. At one point, Blood Puppy is gonna go sicko mode, and he's literally going to sick himself onto me, and I'm not gonna notice, and I'm gonna get tagged, and I'm gonna be real sad. In the meantime, though, boom, what do we get? Hyper Coag and PhD. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Telepills. I don't want nothing to do with this, though. I think I'm just gonna lock in the two diamonds at this point. We don't have that many shops left, and uh, I want a free inventory slot for any future cards. And uh, 72 cents is more than enough. Another shop. There we go! This is the stuff I'm talking about. More battery-based items for the encyclopedia. Watch a 9-volt spawn next. That would be so sick. Uh, oh, well, there's a battery. Do you think I could farm another battery, a full charge, before having to pick that up? I, I have a big room available. That might be the play. Hold on. I actually can't believe I don't have a charge here. Oh, no, never mind. Jumper cables popped off. Boom! Yum heart. Hate to see it. What the hell? <laughs> I'm waiting, man. When is this big man red room gonna happen? I know it's happening. You cannot trick me. Yeah, I know you're hiding in the shadows and you're thinking, haha, he'll never know. But I know at some point you will pay off. I'm just waiting for it. Luck up, pretty fly, experimental into a range up. Thank you for your PhD. Okay, well, we'll buy this and then start restocking again. What do we got? Oh, nice. Boom. Spirit. Very good. More charged stuff. Spirit than that, of course, very good. We get spectral plus flight from this guy. Another one. Battery. I mean, in case I accidentally, like, mess up my charges, I guess that would be good. Three cent battery definitely went hard as well. I don't know if I have enough money for this next restock, but I I'm just gonna gamble it, whatever. It's pale baggy. And, uh, just hive mine. Wow, what an effective shop. Remember I was talking about how much I wanted battery items? Look how much has panned out for me. Thank you. Or a Babylon as well. I'd like to get rid of all of my uh, red hearts. This might not be possible, but we got a good deal chance now. Just because we paid out that Devil Beggar and that does increase our deal chance in favor of uh, Angel Rooms instead. Brownerton! I'm gonna just shove into the wall, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just gonna bully this guy. Goodbye. We get an angel, not a devil. That is hilarious. And in here, ah! double quality four. I, I mean, the choice is obvious here. <laughs> Everyone take a deep breath. Let's game. Don't have to be worried about keys anymore. Pay to win is crazy. Ah. Booty bombs. Kind of a scary item. I'll take it though. Charged. Oh, I found the reason. I've been getting so much money. I, I need even more now. Pop this as well. Uh, oh god, plan C. <laughs> Definitely don't want that. Give me this reverse world. Yeah, that charged beggar. I'm gonna put every single ounce of penny I have into that guy. Black market as well. Very lucky here. Another charged beggar. Okay, all right. I'm with it. I like what I see. Do I lock in the steam sale? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. This will also proc my crown of light. Mr. Me, Bible. Uh, Bible will give me bookworm. That's pretty epic. The rest of this, though, I mean, wait, I guess this is technically mom transformation, which literally does nothing for me. But I have all good pills. 
Yeah, Never mind, that wasn't too good. The Yippee sound effect was worth it though. Uh, and then a nickel from you? No, but a black heart. That's cool. Very, very mega lucky so far. Let's not throw it away. Let's just keep playing solid here. These past few floors have been gifting me with so much luck. I don't want to just throw it away. Speaking of luck, by the way, 17. <laughs> Just kidding. 18. I don't know why there's so much, but there is. Oh, I finally get to hit the boss challenge room. I appreciate it, sir. Uh, no way am I hitting spawn. <laughs> I feel like that ship has long sailed, but I suppose there's no reason to at least not try to build into it at this point. I don't see it happening whatsoever, but uh, you never know. The chest could pay off like crazy. With 18 luck, anything can happen. Uh, let's just take this now. Boom. And too spooky. What a ass item. <laughs> Feels nice not having to maximize our rolls too much. For a second there, I doubted myself, but I remembered the battery would uh, take care of the overcharge. So I was chilling no matter what. Okay, let's do this thing. I got a bunch of cash. Charge me up, Scotty. There you go. Good stuff. Boom. Red key. <laughs> That's slightly ironic, but I, I'm, I really like that, actually. I'm going to clear out the floor first before I do that. That way I have a good educated guess on where this thing could even be. So many nickels. What the hell? Immediately paid out. I, I just spent all of my money. I'm back up to 23 off of one room. Boop. Anemic! We are already about to get another charge here. Plus a soul of Lilith. I might just get conjoined. Let's pop this. Oh my god. Guys, guys, it's time. Yes. What is it? What could it be? Place your beds. <laughs> Somewhere in this room, there's a red quality four in one of these tiles, and I guarantee it's to my left. I'm thinking it's C section. Oh! It's the big one. Holy. I cannot believe it. Thank you so much. Soul of Lilith, Big Trevorton. It took a while to get there, and we definitely had to force our hand to get it to work, but that was the fun of it. And now we are rewarded. Thank you. I probably don't want to spend anything in the shop. I'd probably just buy this. <laughs> Pokey goes okay, but uh, getting more rolls on the encyclopedia is the highest priority right now. And What? <laughs> I... I didn't know. I guess you can get multiple. Maybe I really did get lucky. I thought, you know, I picked up the item. I, I can't find it again. That was the logic I was going by. It seemed pretty sound. It was working for me, but I guess I'm wrong. But also that's, that's comforting. That's not a bad thing. That means, hey, in theory, I could get two brimstones. I like the sound of that. All right, let's spend the rest of our money on this guy. If he pays out, we have another charged beggar, so it's no stress. Oh, wow. That's a really good drink. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, it's not gonna happen though. Oh my! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, encyclopedia, you're going nuts. This is what I fully expected. Mom stands no chance with the Hamo Brim. Not to mention, the entirety of Brim will be knocked back because of perfection, high, high luck. So, see you later. It's doing way less damage than I thought. What the hell? There you go. <laughs> I just hit a little bit of like an inconsistent part of it. Nice amount of black hearts. Take the negative. Let's go down. Speaking of inconsistent, I'm sure that this damage is far more inconsistent than what we were running, but you cannot tell me to just miss out on Hamo Brim. I don't care if now I lose perfection. Like, come on, dude. You gotta be joking me if you think it's an optimal play to leave these two behind. Especially when I am hitting my brimstones, like I do get lucky with the split. That damage is immaculate. I 100% I one shot everything. I just gotta get a bit lucky with it because that could happen. And you know, you see that other loci did not get hit, but that's fine. We just gotta be a accountant of that. Eye drops is good. And here we get body. I don't really want this at all. I feel like that would be bad, no? If I take it, I'll lose all the black cards I got. I'm trying to work towards Horror of Babylon. Yeah, let's let's not do that whatsoever. And I feel really confident, actually. Maybe I really can take this perfection all the way to the end. Let's not mess around. Let's just fight the bosses. Fastest way the boss is important. Less time on the floor means less time risking my perfection. Uh, meat, I know I said I didn't want HP, but this comes with like a tiny damage up, so it suits my brain a little bit better. <laughs> Wow, that was ping pong as hell. That was awesome. I said ping pong and in my brain, I came up with that old Windows default ping pong game. Is there like a website browser version of it that I can just play? Because God, do I miss that thing. <laughs> Talk about goaded video games. Yeah, you got your mega goats. Isaac, Half-Life, Mario Galaxy. Also that Windows pinball game. I should have I should have lost my perfection, I feel. That was very lucky of me. Nothing but luck there. 100%. Do I even have an orbital? I only have one pretty fly. I feel like this man's putting in way more work than I'm accounting for. 
<laughs> That's the one. <laughs> now we're homing. So now our damage is consistent. We can miss uh, completely entirely, but the brimstone will just self-adjust. There's nothing that can stop me. And uh, just to prove it, check this out. <laughs> Everything I wanted to come true is coming true. That was a deep as hell guess, by the way. I actually started losing my voice. That was a little scary. That was probably the worst way to lose perfection. I think in all versions of every single timeline, I should have lost it there. So I, I must be some kind of like timeline anomaly because that makes no sense. How do I still have this trinket <laughs> after playing like that? What is inside of you? Uh, yeah, no, not happening. Encyclopedia has been working out so well for us just by existing on the run and spamming space bar we've given ourselves incredible items such as Hamo, brim sacred heart i'm not gonna abandon this right now more than ever and this is really good this is a straight up damage multiplier if you think about it with our high luck the razor blades are always procking even though they're like technically invisible i think you need 14 luck at base to always proc razor blades with 19 luck that's why we're one-shotting everything even more than we already were for a basis remember that it lives yeah 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 i try sure i'm sure you remember that now check out Satan, who has even more HP. Barely any frames living. Not even the thighs can defeat me. Let's hit up this dark room and uh, press this D6 dice shard that we got by random chance. Check it, check it. Okay, I definitely want to him. More, more. Wow. Uh, I'll take the speed up. I kind of want all of these. <laughs> definitely the lusty blood. Here's the thing about Eye of Belial, though. It's really not doing anything. It's more just like, wow, that's really good in my brain, even though I know it does nothing for the run. Gimpy is also whatever because I'm not taking any damage. I'm playing absolutely nutso today. Nice. Roll it? Oh, <laughs> uh, let's do the D4 uh, and, and then that'll give us for Babylon. I'll come back afterwards to hit like a big man reroll just to see what's going to happen. There are so many lusts here. I've never seen this room before and that is 100 damage. Holy whoa. But for now, let's just run with uh, what we've gotten because what we've gotten is absolutely immaculate. That was it. That was where I was like, I am maybe the stupidest player ever. It's because I shot downwards and I thought that my Haymalak here would proc on the blue fire and then the brimstone would just auto adjust at home. But the moment that I was like, wait a second, <laughs> my tears did not pop on that blue fire. I just, I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I bozoed. I, I apologize. I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd also like to get the body. No, I don't want that. Not much of a difference though. It's literally the exact same thing. The only difference is now it's not 100% chance of a razor blade it's more like 90 percent of a chance of a razor blade it's not even visually noticeable and uh i don't think we really even needed it so we're good we are past the point of no return at this point oh my god lacrophagy how does this even work i what is this oh god okay br brimstone's just gone now <laughs> Oh, oh wow, never mind. It, it's here. It's just being weird. Oh wow, that's really cool. This is way better. I can't believe my eyes. This is a sick run. What? Hello? We've gone and cleared out everything. Here's another one. Psychosis is causing errors. My mouse is now like controlling something for some reason. Ooh, look at me. I'm playing Osu. Why, why did that happen? <laughs> Did I become too powerful? Is it the end of all things? Why is my mouse still on the screen? Get that, get it out of here. I'm sure there's only like one or two more rooms to do. And then we hit that D4. And then we'll just see what we turn into because we have so many items. I might as well see what a D4 could do for us. I was wrong about the one to two rooms. There's so many more. Where am I even going? Where are you taking me? Sacred heart? Oh my god! Okay, here's my plan. We get the Seraphim and we leave that Dr. Fetus alone. I will take it, 100%, but I think uh, taking it and then re-rolling it would be stupid. How about we re-roll and then take it? You know, that's way more fun. Dude, I know I'm not gonna get another charge, but do you see just how much charge we got from our battery stuff there? That was insane. I almost got a new charge. All right, let's hit this fat D4. We got Parasite, Flatstone, Spirit Sword. I got a laser. I, I literally have a lightsaber. That's pretty sick. And then we'll top it off with Dr. Fetus, because of course we will. And that'll be that. That was the Encyclopedia. I cannot believe how cool of an item it was. Reroll again, because I can. What is this? This is just Tech 2. <laughs> Make sure to check out Binding of Isaac Psychosis, because this pack has a ton of different items that I'm interested in looking at. And GG's.